Hey Garden Nerds, it's Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd and today it's a very auspicious day because I have standing next to me here Oshik Efrati, the CEO of Home Biogas, who happens to be visiting Los Angeles from Tel Aviv? Yes, from Tel Aviv, Aviv yeah. Israel, Tel Aviv. so exciting. So I have a load of questions and people have been asking for a follow-up video on how the Home Biogas is working. And you can see it is full right now. It is, right now it is May and we are enjoying some lovely weather and it's been doing its thing. Uh, so I have my list of questions here, but the first thing I want to address is uh, the biggest question I've been getting is how is the system working? So. I have a couple questions for you, but I'm right. going to take this one first. The, the first thing is that we've been using it, okay? Just want to say that. And we've been boiling water for tea, we've been making eggs and stir frying and all kinds of stuff out here. I will say in December, well, November, we stopped feeding the biogas unit. We were actually uh, kind of paring it down for the winter because the, the instructions say not to feed the unit if temperatures are below a certain temperature. Do you know what that is? What? Uh, yeah, it's, I used to tell you, so I need to convert it right? <laughs> to Fahrenheit. But yeah, normally in the winter, when the temperature goes down, you need to reduce the feeding. You, you, you can continue feed, but less. Oh, so you can still keep feeding yeah. it. And okay. The good news that the second year that it's working, it's more stabilized, so you can almost feed it normally. Year round? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we, but we did, we stopped over winter, and then for Christmas, cameraman gave me a, an aquarium heater. <laughs> He's waving behind the camera. And so we put that in in late December, early January. And it took a little while to get it figured out, uh, to dial in the heater to see where it was actually working because it was in the tube mostly and it would sense that it was hot enough and it would shut off. So we had to uh, lower it a little further, a little further, a little further until finally it was heating the right thing, which was this, this whole unit down there. So then, uh, and then we started feeding it around March and we've been using it ever since. So it filled up pretty quickly and that's, so we're using it. Uh, now, my next question, and I have notes. The, the question that came in was the home biogas cooker, the stove top, yeah. is uh, what kind of cooker is it was the question. But I think they're asking about, you know, how is it s set up for biogas? Sure. So biogas uh, is, consists out of 60% methane, CH4. Yeah. Okay. And methane needs a bit more oxygen than LPG. Uh, to to burn. Okay. So it needs big ho big holes, uh, big holes to to burn. So this stove, the one that we are giving in the box, are made for biogas. But actually, you can take any stove, LPG stove or a natural gas stove, and just take the this. The this is the where the gas is going out. You can screw it out. Okay. And then it actually, this is the way to convert normal stove into a biogas stove. So you, you don't even have to get another part, it's just loosening no, it? you just take it out. You just take the dish out and then you have a bigger hole so more oxygen can, can connect to the gas uh, and you convert it, in, convert it into a biogas stove. Very, very cool. So that's hopeful for those of you who have camping stoves and you want to convert them to biogas stoves. Very cool. Uh, next question. Someone was asking if there are issues with pests and rodents. Now, we have the biogas unit right next to the garden. We have a rodents in the garden and we have opossums, we have raccoons, we have squirrels, and we have rats. And we are trapping the rats. The rest are living their lives, but we have not, I mean, you said you came here and you saw how clean everything looks. looks great. Yeah, and so we haven't, we haven't had any issues with nibbling or poking of holes or anything. And so I'd like to hear from you, like what, did, what kind of testing did you do on the material so, uh, against those kinds of things? Yeah, sure. So first of all, yeah, rats uh, and other animals uh, does not, actually doesn't get close to it or doesn't harm it mm -hmm. and we have already thousands of thousands of systems out there in more than 100 countries 
Really? <laughs> That's exciting. And uh, I think there is only one case from all those thousands of units that were something, uh, you know, something ate, uh, it? Something ate it. Okay. So uh, we we think that the reason is uh, animals has a very very sensitive uh, uh, sense, sense of smell. Of smell. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they understand that it's a living machine that creates gas, so they just, uh, you know, they take... They leave it alone. They leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I, I'm sure I would, if I were an animal, I would not get near the giant gas bag, as we call it. I want to back up a little bit. So I was very excited about home biogas when I first saw it on the Kickstarter campaign. And I wondered, what is it that brought about inventing this product hmm. yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's an interesting story definitely <laughs> well the short version of the story okay. <laughs> is uh, Yair my partner co-founder he was traveling in India uh, and saw a biogas system in India uh -huh. he got to a village and he saw that they have gas he asked him how come do you have gas so they told him come to the back we'll show you we have a biogas system so they showed him the biogas system. Mm -hmm. It's called Gobargas. It's a concrete dome built oh. underground, huge one. Oh, yeah. It's a traditional way to build biogas system. There are around 50 million uh, concrete dome like that in mm -hmm. India, China, Africa. And Yair was amazed. We were uh, students. We were learning biology at that time. Oh. And while he was traveling in India, I already invented my first product, which is for another story. Okay, but it was, to be continued. Yeah, it was successful. <laughs> uh, so I learned a lot about product development. And when Yair came back from India, he told me, you know how to develop product. Like, let's make a bag system that will, that will be easy to use. It will be easy to assemble, that everybody can put it in the garden. It, uh, the the gobargas, the concrete dome, it takes around three weeks to build it and it's very, very expensive. And it's concrete. Yeah. So, so we love the idea. I love the idea. Uh -huh. I started to build one in my backyard. And then the, the second one and the third one and the fifth one. <laughs> and, and at some point people will start ordering. And the vision that guides us all the time is to make biogas uh, affordable, available to all. And the challenge is huge. Uh, the challenge is huge because there are 3 billion people around the world, which is a lot, that still cook on open fire. And that's very dangerous and toxic for them because they're yeah. cooking indoors mostly. Yeah, it's one of, it's number one cause of death now in Africa, cooking. One hour of cooking is equal to smoking 400 cigarettes, which is... Wow. And we know the most radioactive place in the world is inside of a smoker's lungs. So yeah. quit smoking. Hey. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I digress. Yeah. Uh, so, well, that's a, that's a serious motivation. Yeah. And I can see how it would have been something uh, that you would act on. So it's good that you did. All right. So when I started the Kickstarter program, I, you know, I got my order in and then we had to wait a little while yeah. before it came out, before it was ready to ship. Yeah. How fast are you shipping these days? Yeah, so today, if you will order today, you will probably get it next week to your house. Oh my God. And yeah, the Kickstarter help a lot uh, because from a small, very, very small company, like five people, we grew up really, really fast from a few units to thousands of units uh, and we established a factory and uh, we now had more m funds to, to invest like right. in the tooling and uh, in injection molding and to make it actually a better product. We are working on, on now on another version uh, that will be that the focus was to make it even more more affordable, even for the people, poor people in developing country, uh, to use only res recycled or recyclable material to make it uh, durable mm -hmm. and that it will last at, at least 15 years, which is very challenging in a product that stay outside. Right, and it's plastic, it's hard. It's they plastic. It photo degrades over time. Yeah. So that's a good challenge though. How's yeah, it going? It's, it's going well, it's going great. Actually, the, f the first products are already uh, ready. Oh. 
We are now starting, you know, to work on a new production line for the next model, for the next version. Okay. Yeah, so we are growing, we are uh, developing new products and thanks to, to the support of amazing people like you. Ah, oh, <laughs> Well, speaking of uh, new products, I have yeah. to throw my, my request in there because we've got this stove and it's yeah. great. And I know that, that you also make a composting, well, it's not a composting toilet, it's a flush yeah. toilet that yeah. takes the humanure into the yeah. biogas unit. That's amazing. Um, are you working on an oven by any chance? Not yet. Not okay, yet. I'm just going <laughs> to ask right now. So oven for baking, right. for baking. That's okay. what I'm just going to say. So okay. oven. All right. People are asking about, and I am wondering too, about maintenance. Uh, I know that the instructions say that every three to five years you're supposed to clean out the sludge in the bottom mm -hmm. that sounds so messy yeah. <laughs> so what does that really look like can you give us some so tips actually we have first of all i think we took it out of the instruction already oh. yeah so i don't have to drain the sludge all over yeah, my yard <laughs> we actually checked system that work already five years mm -hmm. and uh, when it's working good like when it's working as it should so there's no need to clean it there is no need to clean it. We even took the drainage, uh, the drainage outlet out from the new product. Really? Yeah, because we it's discovered, we thought like it will be a must, but actually the good news that it's not a must and uh, it's working really well. And we, of course, that we got to this conclusion after checking system that are working already for a few years. So, That's so exciting yeah. because honestly, I, I just, I contemplate on some sleepless nights, like how are we going to drain this <laughs> thing and, yeah, so and scrape news, up the sludge? You don't need to do it. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah. Okay, and good. actually, it's a, when you're using it on a daily basis, you start to feel in it. It's like a living creature. It's it breathing. has a mouth, it has a stomach, it has, yeah. you know, lungs. Right, and it so. was gurgling. I don't know if you could hear that through yeah. the microphone, but it was glur, 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 and it's putting out uh, fertilizer on the, on the end over here. Yeah. Oh, and you told me a trick about the fertilizer, the liquid fertilizer, yeah. while we, before we were sh shooting. Can you share that with everybody? Sure, yeah. You can use the liquid fertilizer for your for enriching the, the compost, for enri enriching the compost. It actually brings nitrogen to the, to the compost and it's accelerating the whole process. And it's, the results are amazing and it's, uh, you will see it very, very quick. After a few days of using it, you will see the result. It will become like, uh, like a forest. Hummus. Hummus, yeah. yeah but in, in humus. In, yeah, I'm saying humus, hummus, but I'm humus. Humus. Yeah. hummus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. A little cultural slip of the tongue there. Go anyway. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can use it if you are doing composting. The fertilizer is a must. You must try it. Put it on the compost. You will see the result immediately. Nice. All right. So we will try that. Okay, and to round out this video, because we're not done yet, is to share with you a quick meal. Uh, the first time in the previous video, we boiled water, which is oh so exciting. I mean, it was at the time, but now we're, we're moving on. So uh, we have fresh eggs from our chickens. We have uh, dill, parsley, and chives from the garden. And we're going to crack those and put them in and make a quick, uh, quick little scrambled eggs. So they're tough. The shells are very tough on our chickens because they're very healthy. And all you have to do is just drop the, this is total not cooked. I mean, you know, it's, we're just breaking up these into the uh, egg, some salt. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. That's a good egg. And I'm gonna, yeah, they're really dark, aren't they? And this thing lights by itself, which I love. Oh, it's so yellow. The, the yolks are very yellow. Amazing. That's a healthy chicken. <laughs> and it's, the table's not quite level, so things are happening. But it's, uh, it usually takes me about a minute and a half to cook eggs in the morning on this. And, uh, we have a little bit of a breeze today, so it's it's blowing the wind away, blowing the flame away a little bit. But 
It's pretty good. It's already starting to set. Would you like to hear? You want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> what do you like to cook on your biogas stove? Wow, we cook everything. Yeah? Yeah, we cook uh, we cook 90% of our meals. I have we have we are four. We have two kids. Ah. 90% of our meals is, is on biogas. That is not bad. 90% yeah. of his meals are on biogas. And sometimes we're out, so we have LPG as a, as a backup. LPG for as a backup. For the last six years. For the last six years. For six cooked. years? Six years. That is amazing. For six years, we haven't replaced a gas cylinder. Amazing, huh? That is amazing. These look close to done. See, and in, 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 you know, about 45 seconds, you can have a meal. Looks pretty good. Okay. And I have... Do you eat eggs? Sure. <laughs> I totally forgot to ask you oh, if I you even eggs. eat eggs. Here, I'm going to turn this off because it continues to cook. You know, the pan, whatever's in the pan will continue to cook after you turn off the biogas. And uh, here you go. Dun, dun, dun. All right. All right. Here you go. Yep. And it's going to be hot. <laughs> All right, cheers to cheers. home cooked on home biogas. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yum, I love dill. Mm. So good. Dill, parsley, and chives. Best thing to put in eggs ever. Mm. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with the Garden Nerd audience before yeah. I let you go? First of all, thank you for watching us. Thank you for following us. Uh, I want to... Uh, to, to strength you to to keep on supporting us it's not only you supporting us you're supporting a large community of people we are working now in rwanda in kenya in uganda we're starting now in india senegal in all those all those places we are working with families that earn less than ten dollar a day wow yeah and yeah. of course that the price in the website and the price that they are getting it's uh, we are actually using the money that we are getting from people that it's not a must for them to right. subsidize the price for those family and it's a big challenge. We are not an NGO, we are a business. We have 24 workers and uh, thank you for the support. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's an ambitious program and I'm glad yeah. to hear that you're doing that. Thank you so much, Oshik, for yeah. visiting our, uh, the Garden Nerd headquarters <laughs> in Los Angeles. All right, garden nerds, if you have further questions, post them in the comments below. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the notification bell so that you can get notified the next time we have a video online. Tune in for more awesome videos about gardening and homesteading and living off the land. And uh, visit GardenNerd.com for more information. Happy gardening!